Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. Uh, today I will show you how you can design a building by using STEM. So as you can see, uh, this is the structural drawing. It's uh, actually second floor to sixth floor. As you can see, it's a beam layout. So it's second floor to fourth floor. So until sixth floor is actually same. So this beam layout actually we will um, design by using STEM. So as you can see how you can design it. So first of all, what you can do, the very important thing is you have to draw a line by using pencil um, through the grid line. As you can see, there is the grid line. So you have to be very careful. So by using pencil and roller, you can make a the you can make a line according to the grid line. So as you can see. So why you are doing this? When you um, design it or uh, draw, draw it by using STEM, so it it helps you a lot uh, to understand properly how you can uh, the actual line you can understand properly from that particular so later i will show you by using steam so just uh, stay with us i'll show you uh, from first to last so this floor uh, beam layout inshallah uh, i will do it by using steam so you can see it later how it's going on so as you can see that uh, I've done everything so I just uh, make a line by using my ruler or pencil to understand properly the grid line both sides at the top and bottom so make sure that uh, th this will be symmetrically so I mean the right side and left side would be same so whenever you are drawing uh, use autocad drawing so if you uh, just draw i mean the 50 percent you just mirror so similar similar way um, for this uh, it would be symmetrical this that's why this value i mean the last value is 750 then 1650 then 2250 so if you come here so it would be same 750 1650 2250 so both uh, the value will be same like symmetrical so after you uh, done this then you can uh, use your stick so I will show you how you can use that so now I'm going to open a stem from my desktop as you can see I'm going to open this so this is also very old version but still we can use this software so here is the steam software so first of all you have to um, go to the new file then you have to just write down your project name and everything like I'm going to write my project name so then you just uh, ok before, uh, before ok you can uh, save it in your desktop so I'm going to save it in my desktop and uh, I'm just uh, write a file name then I just save over there and it helps me to find out very easily and after you done everything then you just ok so after ok you can come here there is a GB I mean round beam so you just click double click here if you don't double click then it won't be open so now we are going to design a grid line first after that we will do is design a beam then after that it will be a slab then wall that's so everything so first of all we need to uh, design grid line according to this value according to this distance so now we can start so first of all uh, we need to, there have you can see that there have a beam then there have a slab 
there have a column so as you can see so every uh, in the, the components uh, the symbol you can see it from here so now we are going to draw a grid line first as you can see here is a common so this is grid line then add grid so now there have uh, the x direction and y direction so we will um, draw the grid line according to this distance so first is 750 so i'm going to design uh, vertically first so if you wanna do design vertically first then you have to click the vertical uh, the line then you can just make 750 then step by step you can um, make it every distance through this line so we have done our all vertical grid lines according to this drawing the structural drawing so we have done our grid line and it should be symmetrical as i said before our left uh, the distance and our right distance would be same so here is uh, a b c so i will just change it later the a b c so it would be like a a1 b b1 or b2 so i will do it later first of all um, i need to draw the design i i mean the grid line the vertically and all are horizontally so now we are going to design our uh, horizontally grid line so when you want to design horizontal grid line make sure you have to click on the horizontal line i mean the x direction then you just uh, make it your horizontal grid line and you can change the uh, the distance by the click clicking on the text you just click double click then you can change it like our first is 750 so i just uh, change it 750 so by this way you can uh, design all so as you can see that we have done our all vertically and horizontally grid line according to this distance also and we're gonna check now the distance is okay or not because we have to do it very carefully uh, otherwise if you mistake any single uh, number or distance then you total design would be different or you can't successfully draw your design so as you can see it's the one kind of um, 3d view i can show you uh, for only grid line so later uh, later when we draw our uh, wall or slab then we will show the 3d view also inshallah so now our next step is to design B according to this grid line so now we, we have to be very careful now so now I already changed my text also uh, because if you don't change it so we can't uh, I mean the match it properly from the drawing so we have to match our um, design according to this drawing so I already finish it properly if you are not uh, match it properly then you can understand so now our next step is to design our beam according to this drawing so you can see the beam so we have to ensure the beam from which grid line to which grid line so now we are going to design our first beam it's b to i so you have to be very careful about this grid line so our first beam is b to i it's a long beam so we are going to design so first of all you have to select our i mean the symbol i mean the beam symbol then you just select it then you can draw it properly from b to i so and also we need to ensure that um, the horizontally from which grid line and vertically from which grid line so horizontal our 1a and vertically is b so this grid line then I, we just select as you can see so now we have to zoom it again and we have to ensure the, where is our i grid line and this i also should be 1a 
I mean horizontal grid line so we just when we find the corner then you just click so you can see we already draw a beam so by this way you can draw your next beam so as you can see that we draw our all beams and the horizontally and vertically all beams we have done according to this drawing so after uh, this beam design we need to draw our column design also so after you design your beam we need to uh, fix the column from the symbol there have a column symbol you just click the column symbol and in every uh, joints or where we need to I mean uh, fix the column you just fix the column so after we fix the all columns now it's time to uh, just fix the slab so you can see uh, uh, we just uh, try to fix the slab where we need it so by this uh, there have a slab uh, symbol also you just click the slab I mean the slab symbol then you just click um, between the beam space so we almost done our uh, slab design also so now you can see we have done our slab design so if I want to show you by 3d view so you can see our um, 3d view it's only the first floor still we didn't uh, design our wall also just we finish our column beam and slab so you can see the 3d video 3d view uh, we need to do a lot of things later just I want to show you something uh, if we make a 3d video so how it looks like I want to show you our AutoCAD drawing and uh, we just follow still now uh, we follow our uh, photocopy but this is our AutoCAD drawing um, you can see we are trying to uh, make a another copy according to this so as you can see here is uh, the all dimension is here so have a look our 3d view so here you can see we have done our all slabs uh, and we make our void also so we finish our slab design we finish our beam design we finish our column design so we have only left wall so after we finish our wall design then we will make copy it until sixth floor then we add our load also so still now you can see the 3d view so we have done our wall design but only the surround the whole building area not in the middle so as you can see it looks like so when we design in the middle it will be more nice so after we finish our wall so we didn't finish it all but most of the wall we have done and so if i wanna show you by 3d view so you can see how it looks like so you can see so here we already finishes our uh, wall design so after you design your wall your beam your column you can make a copy until sixth floor then you can have a look how it looks like so we have done our most of the analysis also so now we will see uh, if we make it six floor so how it looks like so you can see we have done our mesh also so here you can see uh, after we mesh everything so the six floor it will be looks like this so thanks for watching these videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel for new videos